The Boy from Yesterday, Chapter 9, Chesterfield Day. The next morning, Laurel helped Marguerite do some additional cleaning in the kitchen from the wonderful pot roast the night before. Then Emily came over with her costume supplies in an overnight bag, and they went upstairs to start the transformation into their period counterparts. Emily and Laurel took the things they had found in the local antique store and on eBay and put them all out on Laurel's bed to organize. There were nice vintage dresses with petticoats that were an unusual find in a small-town antique store that, that they normally are known to have, and some high shoes that could double for period boots, and Laurel's makeup collection that was probably too heavy to be historically accurate but made them look great, Laurel especially. Meanwhile, Marguerite and her gentleman friend, Clark Angus, owner of the local hardware store on Main Street, were busy with preparing their own costumes down the hall, which were not as historically accurate nor as nice as Emily and Laurel's costumes were. But Marguerite's long blonde hair, usually tied back in a ponytail, was done in an updo that impressed Clark, who even looked good, too, in his vintage suit, lo looking far different from his usual garb of working at the hardware store. It wasn't just everyone at Marguerite's house. The entire town took Chesterfield Day seriously. It was a city that was proud of its heritage and celebrating the anniversary every spring of its late 18th century founding, with even some descendants of the original family still there, was one of the highlights of the year. Most people in town participated in some way, if only for providing something to do, promoting a little local geographic pride, and entertaining some visiting tourists, and their money along the way.